Okay, so we're back and looking at um, the action of drugs on adrenoceptors, which are these, right? So we've already talked about the neuron up here, the, um, the adrenaline or noradrenaline neuron, it releases into the synapse and it acts on these to produce an effect, right? So in drugs, there are, there's two basic ones we'll look at today, right? Uh, firstly, there are agonists, um, which mimic... Uh, the effects of the the what we like the um, the endogenous um, molecules like noradrenaline or adrenaline, and they fit into receptors here on the on the uh, postsynaptic neuron, and possibly trigger probably trigger a response. Okay, um, so while we might have noradrenaline that is like a perfect ball like that, right? We've got like maybe another drug which isn't quite as perfect but just you know but fits into that receptor regardless and then we've got antagonists right now supposing we wanted to cut down um, the noradrenaline response supposing um, you know uh, I don't know um, we didn't want the body to go into this kind of uh, panic, uh, fight or flight response. So we wanted something that would block the effect, right? And the thing about an antagonist is it does not, an antagonist doesn't have an effect in its own right. Um, what an antagonist does is it blocks um, another drug. So an antagonist might look like that, right? So when it fits into a receptor, it blocks the receptor from taking in the other drug or molecule that might cause it to affect. So, and an antagonist. Think about an antagonist in a film. They're the, they're the pain in the arse, right? So, an antagonist is some something that, you know, um, prevents you or prevents a drug from carrying out what it what, what it needs to do. So, um, so, so an antagonist blocks. Right, so we'll go back to these. Remember earlier we said there are two main types of adrenal receptors. So we've got alpha and beta adrenal receptors. And they have, and they're expressed throughout the peripheral and central nervous system in different places. So what we'll do is we'll look first at um, uh, the alpha ones. So I'm just going to kind of map this one. Um, so we've got alpha, right? And there's two main kinds. There's one and two. So there's alpha one and alpha two subunits. Um, so, and both of these are, um, uh, I always think of, um, that's a really bad, um, I was thinking, you know, um, and they're G coupled receptors, so they're G units. Um, I'm not going to draw a full dog there because you don't need one. Um, so alpha one, and alpha two. So um, alpha one are expressed on um, vascular smooth muscle. Um, so we've got say your your blood. Um, Pillory, right? So the action of um, adrenaline is to squeeze that capillary tight, right? Which will send what? Yeah, your blood, you know, um, shooting through it at a you know a greater pace and speed. Because remember, this guy over here, he needs to run. So if you need to run, your muscles need um, fuel. Um, all of this action, um, you know, like like a genesis and stuff. That's all going to need extra. Um, uh, blood supply, so that's going to send your BP up, uh, which, you know, um, is grand over a short period of time, but perhaps we don't want that happening all the time. Um, also, your uh, we've got uh, the dries, or uh, yeah, um, so you know, your blood pupils um, uh, dilate. Why would they? Um, why would they dilate? Um, yeah, to take in more information, more light, 
um, because you know we were at some stage um, subject to a number of different uh, threats in our environment. So uh, you want your sympathetic nervous system to activate and give you more information about how am I going to run away from whatever it is that um, I'm running away from. Now, also part and parcel of you know this kind of uh, you know quickening res response is um, uh, listening of the smooth muscle in the um, around internal organs. So we don't necessarily need um, a number of things like um, oh I don't know what's down here. Uh, we don't need uh, you know stomach gut. We don't need an awful lot of um, inf a lot of um, resources dedicated towards digesting our last meal when we're running for our lives. So it causes relax of, um, and here's a rather bad drawing of your stomach and your gut. Um, so you all know the, um, the maxim to shit oneself. So yeah, it, the massive uh, relaxation of the gut in response to a threat. Um, well, that's where it comes from. Um, so, uh, right, and uh, we've, of course, mentioned uh, the liver, which is a rather boring thing to draw, um, and glycogenesis over there, so to make glucose. Okay, so um, now the alpha-2, um, think of it. So that works on vascular smooth muscle on the heart, um, and causes constriction because, of course, we want the heart to beat faster to give us more blood to help us run away. Okay. Um, uh, pupils dilate. There's also expression of alpha two on the pupils for dilation. Um, and a few other places which we won't necessarily go into because I think that'll just about handle that one. And then we've got uh, the beta subtypes, right? So um, beta 1 is on the heart, right? So you only have one heart, so this is easy to remember. I only have one heart and it's going to, you know, um, beat only for you. So that, of course, increases force. Um, and uh, uh, rate. Um, now, beta 2 is on, and here's an, yet another um, kind of semi dodgy. Um, oh god, right. Um, that is a pair of lungs, I swear. And if you think of it, you've two lungs, they're kind of that sort of butterfly shape, right? So uh, remember, in response to threat, we need more air. Um, so that's beta 1 and beta 2, right? And uh, beta, oh, beta 3 is um, adipose tissue. And that's concerned with liposis. And the reason you don't see fat marathon runners is because of activation of beta-3. So, um, yes, uh, the secret to weight loss is really easy. It's exercise more. Um, because uh, conversion of fat stores to energy is, is part and parcel of the exercise process. So we've got um, these two main effects of um, adrenergic stimulation. Okay? So, remember what we had, agonists and antagonists, right? So perhaps we need agonists in some areas and antagonists in other areas. So, um, if we look at, say, beta 2, right? When would there be a time where people might need um, dilation um, of their lungs? Okay, so we've got something like um, salbutamol, right? Which opens up the lungs. Um, in asthmatics. And the good thing about, you know, uh, delivering drugs uh, via an inhaled route is that you're delivering the drug directly where you want it. Now, obviously, we don't want asthmatics, um, you don't necessarily want your asthmatic having, um, you know, uh, 
heart problems or you know increasing their heart rate too much but by delivering it directly by an inhaler to the lungs we're just acting so salbutamol is an agonist right because it it mimics the effect of na so it's one of these fake ones okay um now uh so um also we've got uh say with um a beta 1 receptor we've got adrenaline so if you've seen Pulp Fiction, uh, you know, when Mrs. Mia Wallace um, um, her hair was a bit longer, wasn't it? Uh, and she was particularly thin. When she got that um, hypodermic needle right in the heart, which is the, you know, the most direct route, um, the adrenaline will get that heart pumping again and gets everything moving. Um, so, right, um, it's also adrenaline, the treatment for anaphylactic shock, which is when, um, say, the body uh, basically shuts down in response to, an, you know, a perceived um, uh, insult, you know, like a bee sting with some people or peanuts. So it causes the, the you know, the contraction of... Um, of lungs, and it, that's why we use adrenaline. Um, okay, uh, right, so that's agonists, and okay. Um, now, of course, if that's what the adrenaline system does, if we look back over here again, uh, we've got people with high blood pressure, right, because of too much of this and too much adrenaline. Okay, so we um, the drugs that are antagonists, right, for uh, adrenal receptors, um, are used to treat hypertension. Okay, so we've got stuff like uh, prazosin. Um, you'll you'll ooh, if you could read that, you would recognize it. Prazosin. Um, uh, doxazosin, um, terazosin, so the, the sins uh, treat hypertension. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. Oh, um, you probably want to know a little bit more on one other thing. Uh, doping, which we think about in terms of uh, um, you know sports, um, clenbuterol is a beta-2 agonist, um, so we've got, um, I don't know, should, will we put it, yeah, we'll put it, you know, so, so, well, so that's a beta-2 agonist, um, um, and it, uh, it helps improve in performance, yeah, because the lungs are even more open, you're getting more air in. Um, but it does also have like the effect of causing tremor in skeletal muscle. So just remember we've got um, uh, muscles affected as well. Um, so it's probably why you see a lot of um, you know uh, people saying, no, I took drugs from my asthma, that's why you know I tested positive for, for this because of you know obvious similarities between drugs. Um, so uh, we'll leave it at that. Um, Boom, agonists and antagonists of the adrenergic system.